Hi, I'm Mike. One of the greatest things about how we film our Wyoming Life is how we can get you a video from the same day you watch, giving you a look into the workings of a ranch almost in real time. Today, we dig in again and see how much we can get done before noon on our Wyoming Life. <laughs> Welcome back to our Wyoming Life, and thanks for joining us as we continue to explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. If you're new, welcome aboard. And if you like what you see and would like to join a great community, feel free to subscribe, and I hope, from, hope to hear from you if you do. The project list is a list of projects that we keep in the shop, and we tackle whenever we have time. But sometimes you don't have time, and sometimes you have to make time. But more often than not, it's around here the main goal of the project list. It's just to get through the day. To keep things interesting, today we're going to see how much work we can get done before noon. I am going to set my alarm for 12 o'clock. And when it goes off, we're done. It's just past 6.30 now. So that alarm will end our video day. Today, we're starting out early. We're heading out before the kids are up to feed. Hopefully, we can wrap it up in time to see them off to school. Then it's my day to take Lincoln to school, so we'll knock that out, and then after those projects are done, we can get going on the actual list. Mm -hmm. I get asked a lot if I'm out working at 4 a.m. The simple answer to that is no. I usually start my day feeding the cows, and when it's dark, Feeding the cows can get a little bit sketchy. Of course, at 4 a.m., the time is slightly arbitrary anyway. I tend to work off the sunrise more than anything. The earliest that I'll go out and feed cows is about an hour before sunrise. There's just enough light to be able to see and get the job done. Although you still have to be a bit careful. Black cows at night will sneak up on you. And the last thing I wanna do is hit a cow with a tractor, or worse yet, have a cow hit me because we can't see each other. But as the sun moves closer to the horizon, it gets easier and easier. And soon, enough of the feed is on the ground and the cows are happy for the day. Back at the house, the girls are getting ready for their day and waiting for the bus. This is one of the best parts of my day, getting to see the kids in the morning and one that I try to never miss. I had a dream where I had to drink hot chocolate. And you don't like hot chocolate? Not that much. Oh, okay. Well, was it a dream or a nightmare? Um, nightmare because they kind of shoved it in my face. But it's not long before the bus arrives and off they go. Even with a substitute bus driver that goes to the wrong house. Lincoln has to be at school next and it's my day to take him. Aaron and I really try to share the responsibility as we're running kids around when we need to, and that's okay. But I do have a few minutes to try to get some more done this morning, and that is going to be a pig project. Up until now, we've had two feeders for the pigs. As they get bigger, they need more, and I managed to track down another feeder. Before we put it in with the pigs, though, we're going to remove the door flaps. The pigs are in a shed, so I don't have to worry about snow or any moisture getting into the feed. But most of all, the pigs are just going to beat them up standing on them, bending them in. I found out it's just easier to get rid of them in the first place. Then it's up to the pig pen to install and then fill them up and make some pigs happy this morning as well. After a little scrub of the boots, it's back into the house, this time to play chauffeur for Mr. Lincoln, who is not a morning person. After a little fight, it's off to town to make a 25 minute drive in about 15 minutes. So we're a little late, about eight minutes, but it's preschool and pretty forgiving, thankfully. Once we make the trip back home, it's time for water rounds, as I like to call them, making sure all the animals have water on the ranch. This is also a good time to put eyes on everyone and make sure that all are okay. We have five water tanks to worry about. The cows, the steers, the pigs, the horses, and the bulls. 
with all of them taken care of, it's now time to tackle the list. And the number one thing on it right now is some wind damage on the house. High winds over the past few days in the 40 to 50 mile an hour range have managed to remove some of the siding on the north end of the house. Luckily, none of the siding has been broken and we should be able to put it back on and secured into the sheathing with no problem. After gathering it all up and putting it back on the roof, it's time to replace it. Luckily, I don't need a ladder as we can exit right out of the attic onto the little breezeway between the house and the garage. I can say that I'm not a huge fan of this vinyl siding. I probably would never do it again, but for now it's pretty easy to put back on. Some of the trim is missing and that's going to have to be replaced eventually, but for now it's just a matter of getting the siding underneath the existing trim and this time screwing it into place. Towards the top, however, I am beyond my reach and I guess that I'm going to need a ladder after all. Luckily, we have one in the attic and it's adjustable for the pitch of the roof, which isn't very steep, thankfully, because I can tell you that this is not a fun experience. But soon enough, all the siding is in place and we can come down and head off to the next thing on the list. This one, thanks to you, and is a lot less dangerous. People have been asking me what I wanted for Christmas. My reply was your plates. It was actually Aaron's idea to get plates from subscribers and start placing them around the project list and see how much of the wall we can fill up. Every day, it's growing. And thanks to everybody who has sent in license plates to this point, it's a great representation of our community. And so far we have plates from Aruba, St. Martin, and a number of US states. Although Illinois is in the lead and Arizona is at a distant second. As the clock keeps ticking, it's off to get a jump start on a project that's going to take a little more than just me. But I can get a majority of it done before I ever have to ask for help. And that's moving wagons and putting them away. Moving them isn't hard, but putting them away, we're going to have to push them into a small shed for storage. They can be heavy, hence the need for an extra person. For now, I'm going to get four of them moved across the road and ready to go into their home for winter. I should have done this months ago, but the weather is nice now, and it lends perfectly to getting them moved. Each one is chained to the gator and pulled to a staging area before we can actually move them into the corral and get them stored into the shed. We still have a little bit of time before noon, but as I anticipate lunch coming up, I'm going to go and get some work done in the house. It's back up to the attic, where we've been working on an area that we like to call the Our Wyoming Life offices. Getting all of our aspects of Our Wyoming Life into one area will be wonderful. Creating some separation from our house to work. And now we're in the final stages of finishing up drywall. All these walls have to be sanded down still, then another light coat of drywall mud will be applied, then hopefully just a little bit more sanding and the walls will be ready for texture. That's the hope. But first, we have hours and hours of sanding to be done. Probably the worst part of the whole process and the dirtiest. Saved by the bell. Boy, it is echoey up here. Just pretend we're in the Grand Canyon for a minute. It's now 12 o'clock and we've managed to have a pretty productive day. Aaron has ran to grab Lincoln from school, but we've gotten drywall done. We've moved some wagons. We've decorated the project list, uh, fixed some siding. We've gotten the new pig feeder installed and fed all the animals. Not bad. In fact, you deserve a break, but I hope that you're ready for more soon because it never ends around here. Thanks for coming out and please subscribe and continue with us three times per week right here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the like button as that really does help us. YouTube takes our videos based on your views, your thumbs up, and they suggest them to others. So the more love you show us, the more likely that others are gonna find us and enjoy the same thing you do. I'm gonna go get some lunch for now. But until I see you again, have a great week. And thanks for joining us in our Wyoming life. <laughs>